Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. So it's been a week and a half, just over that now, nearly, nearly, very, very nearly up to two weeks since I've had my bladder operation. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and straight away, what I would say is that there is a slight improvement. So first of all, let me just recap. So I had a bladder operation because for a long time I have been dealing with problems of a very, very sensitive nature and really, really life changing and really affected me hugely every single day of my life. Um, and it was getting to a point where something had to be done. Something really, really had to change. Um, and lots of appointments, urodynamic tests, um, flexible cystoscopy, um, you name it, I had it to try and get to the bottom of some real prolific bladder related problems, which was really for such a long time had ruled my life. Um, so just over very nearly two weeks, but not quite about a week in um, just over a week and a half now, um, I underwent uh, I underwent bladder distension surgery and I had a rigid cystoscopy with biopsies all under a general anaesthetic. Um, now straight away I had uh, I had I had some problems straight away. I would I would it was probably better for me just to be quite open. So I had a lot of pain, a lot of discomfort, which you would you would expect in that nature of having something done to your bladder. I was very nervous on the day, uh, very nervous, and I'd seen the surgeon, I'd seen the anaesthetist, and everybody went through everything. And the people who looked after me were amazing. Um, and that's something I just want to really get out there. I was looked after at my local hospital impeccably. Um, I was I was really treated very, very well with the utmost of dignity um, and respect and privacy. And it was it really, really helped because of the problem, of course, and the nature of what I was having done. Um, I'm only 27, a 27 year old man who would have thought that you would have problems with your bladder. But I have for many, many months sadly over a year, over a year now, um, I think it was 16 months in total where I had a real, I had the problem for three years in relation to some uh, hernia repairs. Um, so for three years and then I had the problem severely for 16 months, um, which really affected my life in every aspect possible. Never ever being able to not be near a bathroom, always almost feeling like I lived in a bathroom to be quite honest with you. And then having this surgery done straight away after coming around from it, I had a lot of pain I had a lot of discomfort but as to be expected from the surgery and I was told that everything went well and that they found nothing uh, let's be honest sinister which was absolutely amazing they found nothing in my bladder at all um, and the bladder, the bladder distension went well um, I'll be very honest straight away I had some problems in regards to bleeding um, which was very alarming in that nature as a man finding out that you've got some problems um, and I'll be honest, uh, I had some quite, quite uh, real horrible feeling of severe pressure and I had some bleeding and clots and things there, which was quite horrible. Um, and yeah, really quite alarming. But I was told that that was perfectly normal for the procedure. And that happened for about a week afterwards. I had the the problem there, I suppose, of every time being open and honest, every time of going to the bathroom, of having bleeding um, afterwards and having uh, clots there for a couple of days. Unfortunately, uh, to my experience, after a couple of days, I started to feel really quite unwell um, and being open and honest, I started feeling as though that my mind was really quite cloudy, quite foggy. I felt like I had the worst flu, but no symptoms, no sore throat, no cough or anything. But I did keep feeling really, really hot, really agitated, um, and really just generally no energy, really quite lethargic, really quite, I felt unwell. I felt really, really unwell. So that really slowed my recovery down. Um, I, had, I had a doctor come and visit me at my home um, and um, it was very, very quick uh, to the point of 
they looked after me amazingly. They, they, everything was joined up. The communication was joined up um, from the hospital to my doctor, and which was amazing. And that's a first for me, I have to admit, because with my bladder related problems and hernia related difficulties and things, it's been very disjointed and it's always been me having to keep filling everybody in. So it was amazing to have that all. It helped the situation so much. It was very quick uh, to be pointed out that I had a bladder infection um, and I've been on some really strong medication and antibiotics to try and get that back um back to health and to get me feeling better and i have to admit we are a number of days on now and i am feeling a lot better i've got about four days left of the medication and i'm feeling the only way i can simply explain it is that i'm feeling like i'm on earth again i felt for so many days um afterwards i was fine for two days after the operation um, and I felt a difference in the symptoms which I was having for the overactive bladder. And then straight away, it was thrown kind of on me, this horrible sort of no energy, very unwell feeling, very high pressure in my sort of bladder region. Um, lots of problems making me feel unwell, quite an upset system as well. Um, really not wanting to eat um, and just horrible absolutely horrible um, and then it was enlightened that i had this bladder infection i started taking the tablets and a couple of days after that and here i am and we are nearly a week and a half just over that nearly two weeks now and i'm feeling much much better much more like myself and in the last two days i'm starting to notice some benefits from the surgery now i am told from having the surgery done it's four weeks for your bladder to fully heal and then i will be seen after 12 weeks because that gives time for all the symptoms and things which i'd had for so long to settle down and if the surgery was going to work then in that time that they would know and then they would assess me afterwards at my local hospital and i would see the consultant uh, the surgeon who done my procedure and i would meet with him and then again in 12 weeks time to see it was about 10 weeks now to see whether or not the surgery was a success and let's be honest so within the last two days i've certainly noticed a reduction of how many times i'm needing to visit the bathroom, passing urine. Um, I am certainly noticing a difference with the amount of times I'm going to the bathroom. Um, it's not gone, I will be completely honest, the feeling that horrible sort of urge of always needing to go hasn't completely disappeared, but it does feel, like the first two days after the surgery, I felt, wow, and then of course the infection hit me. So after kind of getting over this now, I'm starting to really feel the benefit. Um, it's not amazing, it's not completely disappeared, but it is certainly better. And it does give me hope to think that I'm on the right road of recovery and getting my life back around the bathroom related issues. Which is pretty amazing, I have to admit. So I would so I'd probably say I'm about 60% there. 60%. I don't want to say any higher than that because last night, for example, I didn't have a very good time at all with the bathroom related problems and throughout the night I didn't have a very comfortable night with it. Sort of that urge wanting to needing to use the bathroom, um, that sort of retention feeling of that you've been but yet you still need to go straight afterwards and that gnawing feeling. But yet throughout the day today I feel a lot more comfortable with things and um, so it hasn't completely disappeared at all but it's certainly better. So I'm certainly starting to notice a difference in regards to for so long my life being ruled by this prolific bladder problem um, and if anybody is awaiting bladder distension surgery and they're sort of humming and hurrying about it I would say it's not going to be easy it can be difficult there are symptoms you will have afterwards um, but have faith and have a real strong communication um, ongoing with the person who's going to be doing the surgery and the people who you have so for example your doctor whether it be a clinician whether it be the surgeon whether it be the consultant make sure you stay in touch keep talking to them because any symptoms afterwards if something doesn't feel right then you will need to speak to them because that's what happened to me because i felt okay i felt in pain discomfort of course from the procedure for the first two days but i noticed a difference in things and it improved and then it went downhill very very quickly and i felt very very unwell and of course then you want that communication and you really want to be getting back to your doctor or to your surgeon who ever done the procedure or to who you talk to about your bladder related problems uh, of course a medical professional um, but it's so so important to keep on top of that because things do change things happen um of course they don't necessarily know why infections occur um, 
I was looked after impeccably, absolutely amazing. I could not fault the people who looked after me whilst I was in hospital. I had some bladder retention afterwards, so I had to stay in the hospital for the night. And then uh, around lunchtime, I was able to go home the following day. Um, but my whole stay in the hospital, I was looked after well. Um, it was painful. I did have the bleeding afterwards, but it was it was part of, I could tell I was on the road to recovery. Unfortunately, it was the infection did knock me for six. I have to admit, it really, really did knock me and um, absolutely floored me with how I was feeling really, really very unwell. But the last two days, I'm starting to feel that I'm starting to get control back. I'm starting to not have so much that urge there of needing to pass urine so often. I'm starting to feel that when I go now, that that relief is there, which I haven't had for so many months. Um, and yet yeah, it feels good. It feels positive that things are starting to come together. I hope it lasts. I have to admit, I hope it lasts because my consultant is very, very open with me that the procedure might need to be done in about six months time for me to be able to keep that effect up. Um, but he was also very honest with me as well. And if the procedure didn't work, I'd have to be referred on to somebody more more specialist as well. But thankfully, fingers crossed, things are helping and things are moving in the right direction. So for me, I'm absolutely jumping for joy inside. Now, the next thing I need to get on top of now is meeting with the next surgeon, which is going to be helping me get my life back with the walking on my right side where I'm having so many problems in relation to my groin um, and my leg and different colour changes to my leg and things and I'm still in a lot of pain and discomfort with that but of course anybody will know who has had a bladder related problem or a bathroom related condition you know how much it rules your life so being able to sort of breathe a sigh of relief a little bit and not have that problem there so much and actually have that feeling that things are improving now and hopefully in the coming weeks and I will be updating you on my channel and hoping that these things do continue to improve it just gives me that glimmer of hope that things are improving things will get better things do get better and you know what I am feeling more positive I am feeling more well um, and as I say in these two days I've noticed change which is great and I'd say I'm about 60% there I do have the odd sort of hour the odd sort of moments at the moment uh, pardon the sort of pun play on words there and um, where I do feel that it's not so great but I am certainly noticing change which is fantastic and I have to admit it's a bit of a phew moment because I never ever thought that I'd be able to get my life back with this bladder related problem um, but yeah, I think we're moving in the right direction. I've had a few amazing, amazing comments saying about updating us, um, updating you. So I absolutely thank you from the bottom of my heart, all of my well wishes, which I've received on my video, which I'd done before I was going in for the bladder surgery. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for that. It really does mean the world to me. And I've read them and I thank you. And I will be getting back to you as quickly as possible. Um, and as I say, it really does help. Um, knowing that there is people outside of my family who are going through this and just being able to update you hopefully you can take something away from this as well knowing that things do get better things do improve and there is hope for when you've got a bladder related condition or a prolific overactive bladder which is on at you every single day which mine was it's not gone away it's not gone away but it's certainly getting better fingers crossed it's going to improve okay so thank you very much for watching my clip this one means the world to me and until next time and i will be updating in a couple of weeks time in relation to how things improved further here's hoping they have absolutely i absolutely pray to god that they will um and i will be updating you around that so thank you very much indeed for watching this and until next time we will see you then bye for now